Hi everybody, welcome to Scuba Diving Magazine, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A where I'm Mark, a former scuba diving instructor, do my best to answer your scuba diving questions, so if you do have any scuba diving questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video, and if you use the Ask Mark hashtag in your comment, uh, it gets yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video, but in the meantime I do actually respond to comment sections, uh, so you do actually get an answer then and there, or at least within a day or two, and you don't have to wait for the entire video to come out, but today I'm answering a question from G Mac about pointing sticks. So GMAX says, would you consider a standoff stick of say 50 to 75 centimeters by 10 to 12 millimeters in diameter with a bungee style loop that fits over your hand to ensure that you don't touch coral reefs or anything with do not touch significance in say slight drift currents or tidal movements. So I'm not a huge fan of pointing sticks. Uh, that's traditionally what they're called. It's just a, a stick of aluminium and I see them as a bit of a crutch so that divers are a bit more comfortable getting closer to things that they probably shouldn't because they can just push themselves away with a stick. You shouldn't really be touching anything at all. That being said, they can be a useful tool to point at something without getting too close. Uh, if it's got sharp venomous teeth or something and you don't want to point your finger too close to it, you can be a little bit further back and point this metal stick a bit closer towards it to point something out to your buddy and most of them also have measurements along them if you're surveying and you need to measure something small you have that size reference because it's quite hard to gauge a size of something underwater because of the magnifying effect of water you can also use it to clang your tank and get your buddy's attention uh, but yeah touching things even with an inert piece of metal still not good uh, because you you can damage whatever it is that you do end up touching um, and if you have the stick then yeah I just feel like some divers who who don't quite yet have their buoyancy down or their movements they're not able to uh, to swim backwards quite yet then it's that kind of crutch that they're, they're going to get a little bit close and they're just going to poke into it um, these things do exist um, I mean, you called it like a standoff stick. It might just be like a translation, so I apologize for that. But if you're if you're looking for something, then they're typically called pointing sticks or pointers. Um, and yeah, they are just a, a piece of metal dowel and yeah, the, with, with a handle on the end. And, and that's kind of it. Most people use them as the name suggests, to point things out. Nowadays we have um, like laser pointers, underwater laser pointers. Um, Orca Torch make a, a laser pointer, which is okay. You can point things from an even greater distance, um, but you do have the added like risk of shining it in something's eyes, which isn't great. Um, but for like safety of yourself and the animal, you can point at something from a greater distance. Um, Otherwise, yeah, torch beam is pretty good. If you have a, a spotlight torch beam, yeah, you can circle something and it draws someone's attention to it. Um, but yeah, if in doubt, yeah, try not to touch anything with your bare hands. Then, like oils from your hands can like get onto the uh, to the, the coral or whatever's growing on the rocks, and it can damage them long term. So it's best not to touch it if you can avoid it. Uh, even with metal, you're still going to be like scraping things, so it's best not to do it. The um, the closest thing is like a drift hook, which is. Uh, I'm always in two minds with drift hooks. They're kind of that necessary evil because in high drift or sorry, high current areas, then yeah, to save yourself getting just washed out to sea, a drift hook is kind of essential and the placement has to be really careful so you're not just hooking onto some rare coral and just snap it off. It has to be really targeted where you're placing it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of like touching anything if it can be avoided. Try and use your uh, your fins and your fine like motor control and your fine tuning your buoyancy to avoid needing to actually anchor yourself and, and touch anything if possible. Um, that's that's my like recommendation. Um, but not to say that pointing sticks can't be used appropriately. It's just yeah, I'm not a huge fan of using them to like push yourself away from 
getting too close. You, you should never get that close if you can't just like back fin yourself. Yeah, back finning is a really useful skill that, um, that I didn't learn until my side mount course. Um, it just it wasn't in any of the uh, the curriculum until there and i'm not even sure if it was in that curriculum or whether that instructor was just like you know what we're just going to learn how to backfin on this it's a really useful skill and it's something that takes quite a lot of training because when you first do it first of all you don't even know if you're doing it properly because it feels like you're not really going anywhere uh, but it does take a bit of a knack to, to scoop the water backwards and to uh, to move without using your hands um, and yeah I feel like that's why a lot of people use those uh, like sort of pointing sticks um, but yeah as a communication device to point at something great to like tap on your uh, metal cylinder fine I'm okay with that but to actually like poke something to like push yourself away from it yeah I'm not a huge fan of that but good question and, and it's worth asking the question um, in the meantime I try to stay a bit further away from the reef until you're confident that you can in any circumstance just swim backwards away from it or sort of up and over or down and under uh, whatever it is um, but yeah any other questions pop them down in the comment section underneath this video use the ask mark hashtag you get yourself a new question featured in an up and coming video uh, and then remember to head over to our website scuba dive at mag.com see all the interesting things that we do over there like and subscribe to the channel do all those good social media things thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving